Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, just one moment, family. I will be right with you. Okay. Anyway, I have um, something I'm going to be sharing with you in this video. Of course, we already know the story. But... Um, like I continue to say, we've got to flood the world with the truth since everybody else has flooded it with lies. We've got to flood the world with the truth. And that is what I am doing, another expose of the truth. So I want you all to take a look at this video, uh, this video loop that I'm gonna be playing while I am talking. Uh, so they are saying that this is the oldest film of Jerusalem circa 1925 in North Africa, okay? Uh, look at these images. Look at these people, okay? Um, of course, this is before Jerusalem was whited out. Decades before it was whited out. Interesting. Thank you all for joining me. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, the commentary on this. Like I said before, uh, we are not surprised at all because we have been discovering and uncovering the truth for quite some time now. Uh, the truth has been hidden. It has been covered over. It has been whited out. And now what we are starting to see is a revelation. Did you see the people at the wall? Uh, <laughs> in Jerusalem um, decades before it was whited out. This is some interesting stuff. Huh? Interesting stuff. Uh, this is the kind of truth that we need to continue to uncover because again the world has been flooded with lies, deception, all kinds of things. But it is time. It is time for the truth to come out more and more. Huh? It is literally busting out of the scenes. Now, one thing that I wanted to say about this video, um, I wanted to say this is, they said this is the oldest film of Jerusalem, uh, where people of color thrived in Jerusalem once upon a time. I wanted to make note of this before getting into this. Now, the Bible told us that uh, Jerusalem would be trodden down by Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. So, Based on that, and knowing that we were dispersed from our lands, I want you all, I want to see if you all are thinking the same thing that I'm thinking about these deeply melanated people that were in the land of Jerusalem before it was whited out. I want to see if there's anyone thinking the same thing that I was thinking. Is anyone thinking the same thing? Anyone have the same thoughts? Huh? Huh? Raya says, this looks just like any other African country, but I'm so glad that the architecture there shows you um, <laughs> where the place is. The architecture is a definite giveaway of where the place is, right? So again, I'm waiting to see if anyone else has uh, some similar thoughts to what I have. Um, AB says, beautiful, melanated people. Absolutely. They are definitely beautiful, melanated people. Definitely. I'm still waiting. Okay, Yah blesses. We are Yah's chosen. Let the truth be told. Okay. Let's see if anyone else has any similar thoughts to what I was thinking concerning these people. So anyway, I'm just going to share my thoughts. I don't see anyone who is um, um, having or sharing a similar thought uh, concerning the identity of those people based on the scripture that I shared that Jerusalem would be trodden down by Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. I'm just going to share with you all my thoughts on those people. Now we know for sure, we know for sure that it was whited out. Okay, Triple D wants to know what was the question. 
um, the question was based on the scripture that says um, that Jerusalem would be trodden down by Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Um, and this is decades before it was whited out. Who would you say that these people in the video clip are? Who would you say that these people are based on that scripture? I want to see if anyone has um, the same thoughts that I might have. Um, Victoria Spirit says, my thoughts are, where are they today? Okay. June Edwards says, Ghana and Sudan. Okay. I'm talking about, so you're thinking that these are Ghanese people um, or Sudanese people? Okay. So anyway, I'm going to share my thoughts based on the scripture. And uh, Okay. Thank MG. There you go. <laughs> MG. Uh, has the answer that I was looking for. Um, R. Bailey thinks that these are the um, actual Jews. Um, A.B. says um, Arabs and M.G. says Ethiopians. Those were my thoughts as well that those were Ethiopians. Um, M.G. says Ethiopian Jews and, and, and Alexandria said Ham or Philistines. Philistines. And uh, those, were my th those were my thoughts either Ethiopians or Philistines. Okay, of course, Hamites, they would be Hamites uh, from Alexandria. Um, now, I said that to say this, um, regardless to whether or not they were Israelites or not, they were definitely still melanated people, deeply melanated people. They didn't even look like um, the modern day Arabs. You know what I mean? They did not even look like the modern day Arabs. They actually look like the children of Ham or, well, the children of Ham, Philistines, right? The Ethiopians. That's what they look like. Because based on, again, what the Bible says about Jerusalem being trodden down by Gentiles until the time the Gentiles be fulfilled, um, that would mean that we were still not back in our land uh, during 1925, right? Because the scripture tells us how and when we would gather back into our land and what it would look like. So my thinking was that these people of color that thrived in Jerusalem uh, once upon a time before it was whited out, my thinking was that they were either Ethiopians um, or Philistines, okay? Either or, they would still be descended from the tribes of Ham. That was my thinking on the people that we are seeing looping in the video clips here. Hmm? That's my thinking. Okay, the Ministry of the Real Truth in the chat says, Yeah, Captain Tazak of Sanator Live said, There was black in Jerusalem in Roman days. Uh, there were separated from Jews and in prison. Now, I do believe, uh, just... Just to put this out there, and we've talked about this many times before on this channel, I believe that the whole planet uh, was black people, including the descendants of Japheth. And at some point when the human bloodline was infiltrated, uh, various regions of the world began to be whited out. And this is why we produced the Whited Out documentary series in the first place because it was becoming very, very clear to us that the whole planet was black and that something um, infiltrated the human bloodline. This is why Discover Magazine came out with the, um, the magazine years ago, the cover uh, where the title said, You Are Not Human. And it, in that particular issue of the magazine, it discussed the fact that um, the modern day Asians and Europeans um, have the Neanderthal gene or the, the, the Neanderthal DNA, okay? So, um, just like House of Judah says, are ye not like the children of Ethiopia unto me? And we included that in the, um, the woman, the women of the Bible book where that was a, because we're trying to get our people who are stuck in Christianity to understand that the Bible is our history book. So we included that passage in that book where it talked about um, us being as the children of Ethiopia unto the Most High. Huh? <laughs> yeah. So this is why I believe too, and I pointed this out, that they have been trying to white out the Ethiopians and they've been trying to say as well that they are um, actually 
um, kind of white, come from the white race. And I said, oh my goodness, when I did um, a search on that, they're actually trying to say that um, Ethiopians are um, affiliated with the white race. And I'm like, uh, somebody needs some glasses, <laughs> you know? And not just that, um, if you understand what actually happened, um, what actually happened was that so-called white people are a mutation. Scientists have said that. Hmm? That's what scientists said. Um, for the person who's talking about Noah in the chat, um, Noah, Noah was actually an albino. This is why Noah and his wife was able to produce three black children because he was an albino. Uh, we covered that in the White It Out documentary series as well. We actually find, found a family um, that's alive today that actually mimics what Noah's family would have looked like. It was an African wife, um, and a husband that was um, albino, and all of their children, every last one of them, were deeply melanated like the children of Africa. Deeply melanated. Huh? Uh, thank you for deleting that, that ignorant comment in there. Uh, people are just, they are so disrespectful sometimes when they come onto another person's channel. Um, ain't nobody over here trying to, to overthink anything. We're just trying to tie up all of the loose ends and we're trying to correct the misinformation that has been put out there. Okay, so if that is your thinking, go to a European channel and hype them up if that's what you want to do. But um, let me tell you something. On this channel, we are all about revealing and uncovering the truth because for far too long, for far too long, the world has been flooded with misinformation. Um, Jerry Early says, thank you, B1. Sister watching over here in Big Island, Hawaii. Um, Hawaii is in the house. Uh, shalom to you, uh, Brother Jerry. Um, I hope that you are enjoying um, living there or visiting. I don't know what it is, but um, thank you for chiming in to let us know where you're um, viewing us from. I bet it's so beautiful over there. <laughs> we can only imagine. But uh, yes, exactly. Uh, what we are trying to do here, family, uh, we are trying to reveal more and more truth because the truth has been stolen, it's been hidden, and um, it's been covered over. Uh, the whole earth is trying to sort through. Notice I say sort through. It's a shame when the truth is like finding a needle in a haystack. It's a shame. A literal shame when the truth is like trying to find a needle in a haystack. We're trying to sort through all of the lies that have been put out there by who? Does anybody have any idea who put those lies out there? Who circulated them all around the planet? While I take a sip, I'm going to give you all some time to uh, catch up and give me some answers. Who do y'all think flooded the world with all these lies and uh, misinformation? Okay, someone asked, uh, where in the Bible does it say... Uh, what the Bible describes Noah looking like the fallen angels. Uh, that is in the book of Enoch. Now, I know a lot of people um, don't believe in the book of Enoch, but uh, there's a lot of truth that was really covered in the book of Enoch. There's a reason why uh, they wanted that book gone because it testifies more in detail uh, as to where they came from. Thank you for all of those who put Esau in there. Uh, yeah, uh, that's who flooded the world with all this stuff. Yeah, the world has been flooded with all of this stuff. Now, uh, for the person who um, asked uh, who are the people in the videos. Now, they are saying that this is the oldest film of Jerusalem circa 1925. And I'm saying before it was whited out, um, you know, to coincide with the documentary series that we put out. 
the world, the whole planet has been whited out. Hmm? It has been whited out. And it is our job to uncover all of this stuff. It's our job. We can't wait for anybody else to do it because um, even when they bring the truth, huh? They water it down so badly to where you just don't know what's being said. Like I thought, I think about that one minister who said he don't care if um, Jesus had a, a Jerry curl dripping from his head. Uh, he didn't care if he was white, uh, brown. Um, Olive, he said all of these different things and as many of you pointed out he never did say black, right? Now, I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt and say that well maybe he was considering the brown to be actual black people, but we know that it was p probably paining him to say black, knowing that that is a d direct di uh, connection to us, right? Not that we are black people because I don't identify as black, but for the sake of conversation, most of our people look at us as black because this is what we've been told the lie for so long, right? But he said he didn't care if he had olive skin or white skin or brown skin. But he never said black because it pains them too much. It pains them too much to even try to connect to anything. Now, I want to say this again for those who just don't understand. The whole planet at one time the whole planet was black and over time has been whited out because the human bloodline was infiltrated. Now I want to try to see real quick if I can find something for you guys. Um, something that was, I actually put it out recently, but for the sake of the conversation here, um, I want to try to see if I can find it again. If I can't, um, that's fine too. But yes, um, just give me one moment here. I have that video on loop so that, so if you all are wondering why it's showing the same thing over and over again, um, that is why. So here it is, right here. You see what date this was, so I can try to retrieve that. Sorry about that. So there was a video <laughs> that I did about a month ago. Um, where this um, African um, scholar, uh, he actually said, he said when God created, um, see if I can get the, the exact date for this one. He said when God created the world, there were no white people. Now, he was just giving you all just, just truth. You know, it had nothing to do with trying to uh, slight anyone or make anyone feel any kind of way. You know, people get all in their feelings when you're telling the truth. So that was March 5th that I put that out. But they get all in their feelings. All at the same time, uh, they put out so many um, lies, uh, so many insulting, evil things concerning so-called black people, you know. And when we try to put out the truth, you know, people, like I said, get all in their feelings. And you say to yourself, what, why can't people just be honest? Why can't people just do the right thing? What's wrong with the truth that you don't want it out there? What's wrong with the truth? I know what's wrong with the truth. The truth is a hard pill to swallow for a whole lot of people. It's a hard pill to swallow. And this is why people try to cover it over. They don't want it out there. This is why you have folk who literally who literally tried to hide the truth. So, let me see this right here. What I'll do, I'll just bring it up on the screen right here for you guys to see. I want you to go take a look at this when you get a chance. Uh, go take a look at it and some interest, interesting things that this brother right here said. But, um, let me get it for you here. But this video right here, um, when you get a chance, go take a look at it. It's on my channel here. It's called, When God Created the World, There Were No White People. Okay, this is an African scholar, and he is explaining all of this, right? He's explaining all of this, and it wasn't in a mean, upset, angry way. Um, people think that we are being um, Afrocentric, is what they call it. 
right? Or they think that we're being um, trying to have a su superiority complex, and that's not us at all. You know, what black people are actually doing is just trying to say, look, uh, we've heard the lies for far too long. We're tired of it. Uh, the truth is revealing itself. Uh, the truth actually sounds more realistic than all of the lies that have been thundered out into the world. And so that's what we're putting out there. And we're sorry if it hurts your feelings, but you know what? It is what it is. Huh? The truth is what it is, whether we like it or not. The truth will always be. You see, folk don't like us coming into the truth. This is why. Let me take a look at this. This is why. So Angela in the chat, she says, Sister Deborah, did you hear about a woman on day of the eclipse stabbed her husband to death and pushed her eight-month-old baby and nine-year-old boy out of the car? Baby died and died. No, I didn't hear about that at all. I did hear about a, um, they said it's a woman that was into astrology. She did something. But uh, for me, a lot of, of people are trying to attach things to the eclipse. And I don't necessarily see it that way only because we've had these crazy stories uh, for decades that have been just going on constantly, even weeks, even weeks and days before the eclipse. And even after the eclipse, we've been hearing these kinds of stories where people are snapping. They have a whole series out called Snapped because people have been doing this. But um, I do believe that People are trying to attach these things to the eclipse because they were saying that re really strange things are going to be happening. Most people said that um, these things are going to be happening like the earth is just going to be destroyed after the eclipse. But um, these occurrences of people doing all of this um, crazy stuff, we've been seeing that for quite some time. But um, anyway, anyway looking at some of your comments here yeah yeah the the woman who was into astrology she was into some some tripped out things and um that could that could have very well played a role you know we were looking at um some some uh, videos some documentaries recently where when you tap into the dark side when you tap into the dark side you're oh you're opening up a door or a gate you know we did a, a broadcast years ago uh, opening the door to demons, right? So people essentially open doors to demons. Hmm? Okay, um, Angela says that that's her, the astrologer. She wrote a note about the eclipse. Yeah, that's that's interesting, you know. I still believe that a lot of the, the things that people are trying to attribute to the eclipse, I believe that they were on the horizon. Um, already because she was into all of this darkness anyway it probably you know she she wanted to attach it to all of that like so many others have you know kind of reminds me of when people were trying to attach um, 5g to COVID you know um, Celestia says that she was postpartum and that makes more sense to me if she recently had a child um, it was more likely postpartum in which I believe even with postpartum, I think that I believe is demonic, y'all. I really do believe that it's demonic. But it kind of reminds me of what um, people, when people were trying to attach the 5G to COVID, and um, it, it, there was just no connection whatsoever. It was no connection whatsoever, even though people were trying to make that connection. So anyway, family, I just I wanted to share this clip with you guys because. Um, I've been seeing these various old clips popping up. I shared one um, recently um, of what Egypt looked like um, in the early 1900s as well. And so it's been just a little over a century um, or right around a century since all of those Middle Eastern lands were whited out so, so thoroughly. I mean, they were deeply melanated. So all of these people, and I'm going to call them our people, y'all. I'm going to I'm going to call it our people. Um, this person, um, Lu Lucius, you're saying blackwashing. Uh, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? 
I just want to understand before I before I rip into any comment. <laughs> are you when you say black washing? Are you trying to say that we are black washing history? Is that what you're saying, or are you saying something else? Because um, what I'm showing you is old footage of Jerusalem circa 1925 before it was whited out. So if anybody's blackwashing anything, if anybody's blackwashing, it's the people who are hijacking um, other people's cultures all around the planet. It trips me out how history testifies that it was dark, melanated people all over the planet, right? History testifies. You even have uh, stuff coming up out of the woodworks and busting out at the seams, painted all on the walls of Egypt. Old films just getting dusted off and displayed. Images of Yahusha, the one who the world calls Jesus and the people of the Bible just coming out over in Russia as their icons and folks still got the nerve to say that we whitewash or we are blackwashing something. Woo! <laughs> oh, thank you, beloved. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Sometimes you have to be thorough when you put those those comments in there, beloved. That's why I said I'm going to give you a minute before I start lighting in because we get a lot of people. So, beloved is saying that um, they're talking about we are blackwashing. They are attempting to say that we are blackwashing. So, we get a lot of people, and many of you see it. They pop up in here and they call us different things and they say we're doing this and we're doing that because they don't want to accept the truth, right? And so you'll even see them in the comment section sometimes. They'll see this stuff and they'll say all kinds of things because the truth is too difficult for them to see or accept. It'll be right there in their faces and they just can't handle it. They just can't handle it. <laughs> this it, it's, it's really not funny at all, family. It's not funny at all. Sometimes I chuckle because, you know, it, it blows your mind. It really blows your mind that what we see being passed off as education to the world is being paid for. People are actually going to school to learn that we came from monkeys. Did y'all hear what I said? Folk are paying a lot of money going to school to be told that we came from monkeys. That we evolved from monkeys. They're paying real money for this. Going into debt to be taught by people. This is why, you know, sometimes when I hear, like I, I covered a broadcast earlier today where I was talking about Duke University um, no longer accepting black um, um, affirmative action students. And I said to myself, you know what? Go somewhere else. Don't be offended by them. Let them keep their stuff. You know what I mean? I understand a lot of our people feel very, you know, they feel very um, attached to this system, right? They feel so attached to it, attached to it that um, these things matter to them. And to me, some of the brightest people are people who are self-taught and people who study outside. Of there. there was this one guy many years ago before we even came to the truth. Um, his channel was not active anymore on YouTube, so I wonder what happened to the brother. You know, you'd be wondering if people passed away and there's no way of finding out anything, but he hasn't uploaded anything in years. But he was um, putting out all kinds of great knowledge. And um, he explained, and he was so highly intelligent, y'all. This brother said, he said he, he left school. He said he couldn't get anything from school. He says everything that he learned, he learned from studying. He went to libraries. He went to every source imaginable. Huh? Every source in, uh, imaginable to educate himself because he felt like they could not do it. Huh? He felt like they couldn't do it. He said these people are not capable of teaching me the things that I'm trying to learn. And so I wonder what ever happened to the brother. Mm, mm, mm. Thank you, R. Bailey. R. Bailey, for the super chat. I appreciate that. 
Um, Style Trender says that's definitely institutional racism by Duke University. I thought the same thing. Um, the Brothers Channel um, is Cool Veg. Let me see if I could pull it up again. This was years ago, and I looked for it recently, and I didn't find anything, and so it looked like he hadn't um, uploaded in more than 10 years. Let me see. Sometimes when you don't upload in a long time, your stuff doesn't even show up in the chat. I'm not, not in the chat, I'm sorry, in the search. Hmm. I can't find it. If I do, I will share it um, for the person who's asking. But, um, hmm. Let me see if I search for it by channel instead of just look through the filters and look through see if I can find it by looking for channels no I'm not finding it anyway the brother was very smart very smart and um, self-taught and you can tell that he was thorough with it very very thorough so anyway I am going to get on out of here y'all we put in a lot of work on the, on the farm today and I had to come and sit down for a moment. Sometimes it could be a trip out there. Um, I'm not complaining at all. I thank the most high. It's not too hot. Um, temperature just right. But there are some other things that I need to get into. And I may come before you a little bit later on today as well. Um, I appreciate your time. I love the fellowship. Thank you all so very much. Um, please share this video. I think people should know. We need to uh, flood the world with the truth. Like I continue to say, flood the world with the truth. Hmm? Uh, Black Symphony says, who are aware that the Yale logo is written in Hebrew? Urim and Thurim. Urim and Thummim. Which the same in Torah is found in Exodus. Interesting. I'm going to check into what you're saying. I'm going to save this comment. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, um, okay. <laughs> Interesting. So anyway, thank you so, so much for joining me. Beloved, I love you all very much. I want you to enjoy the rest of your day. Those of you of the house of, the house of Yashriel and Gentiles that are grafted in, until the next live or the next video. Stay prayed up, family. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share and like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like and subscribe.